Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install CyberPanel on Ubuntu with Redis and Memcache. So if that's something you want to learn how to do, let's go ahead and get right on into the tutorial here. I have a fresh install of Ubuntu 20.04 here, and the first thing I'm going to do is to get the installer script that's going to allow us to install CyberPanel. So we can do that with this line of code here. I'll have that linked in the description below or actually maybe directly in the description. Um, this is from the official cyber panel documentation. So let's go ahead and execute that. And it's going to check to make sure everything's up to date and then kick off the cyber panel installation. So um, everything looks good so far at this point in the installation. What do we want to do? We want to install cyber panel, which is an option number one here. So we can type in one hit enter. And now it's asking us what kind of uh, web server do we want? Do we want Open Lightspeed or Lightspeed Enterprise? Open Lightspeed is the open source version of Lightspeed server. It is free. Lightspeed Enterprise uh, does require some type of payment. So we're going to pick option number one again here. And now it's asking us install full service for CyberPanel, which includes PowerDNS, PostFix, and Pure FTP. Um, I'm going to say no to that one. We'll do that in another video. So full installation, no. We don't want to do postfix power DNS or pure FTPD. Um, do we want to have our MySQL server remote? Meaning do is our MySQL server going to be on another machine? No, it's not going to be. It's going to be on this machine. What version of CyberPanel do you want? If you want the latest version, you can just hit enter. So I'm going to hit enter here. And then do you want to set the default admin password? I'm going to do that. So I'm going to type S and hit enter and then type in my password. So let me go ahead and do that. And I'll confirm my password. Okay. This is the part where we're going to talk about memcache and Redis. Do we want to install memcached? Uh, extension and backend, capital Y for yes, hit enter. Same thing for Redis, capital Y, hit enter. And this is asking us about the watchdog. Um, do we want the watchdog? Capital Y for enter, and then hit enter. And now the installation will kick off and proceed. I've noticed that depending on which options you pick, this is quite a long installation anywhere from five up to like 15 minutes, depending on uh, what type of server you're running on, what kind of resources it has. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is pause the video and I'll catch back up with you when this finishes. All right guys, the installation has finished. And as you can see here, it prompts you, would you like to restart the server now? I went ahead and restarted the server and now I am ready to log back into the server. Um, it should be ready to go now. So I'll SSH back in with my username and password. We're back on the server and what we're going to do is uh, just first because this video is about Redis and Memcache. Let's make sure Redis is running. We'll start with that. So we can type in PSAUX to list the processes and then we'll just looking for lines in there that have Redis in it. So let's see what we get back and we do see that Redis is running out of user bin uh, Redis server here. Okay, so um, I want to show you something else though that's really cool. So let's go into the cyber panel admin dashboard and we can open up a browser window and do that and what we want to do is um, take the ip address that our server is on which we can get that right here so whatever your ip address is or if you're working with a domain name you can use that too so type that in colon 8090 okay that's the default uh, admin port dashboard for cyber panel so you're going to always get this connection. Your uh, your connection, you're, you're always going to get this error. Your connection is not private. So let's try to proceed to the admin dashboard login page. And here we go. So we can go ahead and log in with admin. That's the default username and the password that we typed at the beginning of the installation. So for me, I'll go ahead and type that in. And we will sign in now. What we want to do is to go into the uh, dashboard, which we're at right now, and then go into the status section right here. And in here we can top processes. Okay. And if you're not familiar, that's just like kind of what we did with PSAUX. That's listing out all the processes that are running. And if we just do a control find on this page, we can see that Redis is running right here. And 
same type of thing. If we go back to our terminal window, we see that the process number for Redis was uh, 697. There you go. Right here, you see the same thing here. So this is this is equivalent to what we were just looking at. And then um, you don't you don't even need to go onto the terminal window to do that. And then let's look for memcached. We have memcached running uh, process 613 and that's good to go. So um, there might be cases when you do need to open up a terminal window and run something, and uh, you can you do have the option of using your built-in terminal window if you're on Mac or Linux, or if you're on Windows, you can use PuTTY, but a cool another cool feature about the um, uh, cyber panel is that they have a built-in terminal window here. So how do we access that? Well, if you go to uh, server down here on the left-hand side server, and then you go down here to web terminal. It's a new feature that they got. And click on terminal, you can actually um, access the terminal right here from within your cyber panel admin dashboard. So for some reason right now, it's not uh, not running. Let me see, see if we can reboot the SSH server. Um, that, interesting. That <laughs> Again, with these these live videos that I do, I always seem to run into an issue. Um, but when this is working, I don't know. Maybe let's let's just try it live here. Let's reboot the server, and this will you know disconnect us from everything's offline right now, right? We can't access anything. I want to see if a reboot will help in this case because that's kind of like troubleshooting 101 when something doesn't work the way you expect it to. Um, start from a known state, right? We could have been in a weird state for whatever reason. Let's see if a reboot works. So um, we're still offline here and this could take, you know, 30 seconds to a minute for it to come back online. But you see, it's trying to trying to ping it, trying to see if it's actually available online here and uh, it's not able to connect. So let's manually try to reload. We're still not online here. Um, we can't get in via the terminal window either. So it's just it's just a matter of waiting at this point, which I think I'll go ahead and pause the video unless something happens within the next few seconds. And then uh, when it's up and ready, I'll go ahead and get back with you guys. Okay, so I was able to log in via SSH. So I think that means the GUI should be available for us. Let's refresh the page here. And yep, we're able to log in, but unfortunately we see that same exact uh, error connecting to the back end. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here. Let me see if I can and find out. I'll pause the video again and I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, I'm back. And unfortunately, I was not able to figure out what the issue was. Um, in this case, I looked at the web terminal docs and they did suggest a couple things down here at the bottom if you saw the, the connection closed error message. Um, but uh, on demand while filming this video, I'm not able to uh, debug that. So. I'm going to move on and just let you guys know that this is a feature. It is a new feature, which it might be a, a beta or there might be some issues with it right now. Uh, but if I do figure out what the issue is um, in the future, I'll go ahead and make another video about that to let you know. Um, but other than that, um, in this video, we did talk about installing Cyber Panel on Ubuntu by hand with Memcast and Redis. So that's all up and running. If you want to see some other videos about Cyber Panel, Memcache or Redis, check out these videos over here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.